Hey guys, my name is Liam, this is my hobby room, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Best Hit Chronicle 1 to 1 scale Cup Noodles Kit. This thing came out of the blue, I'm super excited to share this with you, and stick around to the end of the video and I'll share with you my very own instant noodle recipe. So there's an instruction manual, it's a typical Bandai instruction manual, it's got some color, it's got mostly black and white, uh, and then it's got a little bit of history about cup noodles right there, which is a brand we don't really get in the West. So the 1 to 1 scale cup noodles kit is a lot of fun to put together. I've said before, painting is my favorite part, and the build part is kind of like, ah, eh, whatever. You can see here's my noodle brick. This noodle brick is assembled with a bunch of different pieces of, of plastic noodle, and uh, together, you know, it looks, looks like noodles. We'll just pop our noodle brick in there. This kit also comes with some accessories. Accessories. That's right, no beam rifles or shields this time. So we've got our egg yolk, we have our beef, green onions, and some shrimp. So this kit also comes with a sticker sheet. You see I've applied just a few of them. I'm going to show you why I did that and why I didn't finish applying all the others. Because a lot of the details on this kit, pretty much all of them are recessed, you could do a reverse wash and just kind of paint all these in with acrylic or enamel based paint and then use some thinner to uh, clean off the excess, which is probably what I'll end up doing for these. It's pretty much color accurate, but these little stickers here fill in places like this where the U is supposed to be separated or, or here where some of the katakana don't have the, uh, the the red backing kind of showing through. So those stickers will help with that. Uh, there's a few that I used on the back here. Uh, and you can see there's a bit of like a discoloration because it's just it's not just this part that's stickered It's a whole sticker that covers this thing uh, So if that's something you want to use you can but they're very easy to just paint in just because they're all recessed So these are shrimp stickers now. This is my first time seeing shrimp stickers So <laughs> what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try applying these here So as we know uh, stickers that are supposed to go into curved plastic from a normal gun kit pretty much always look horrible But because shrimp kind of have that like molting effect. I think uh you know, I think this might be okay. So let's take one here and let's just see. Let's just see. I will say that all of these shrimp stickers are different. So we'll just take this here, stick that down, and then we're just gonna wrap it around. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. It's pretty good. Alrighty, so let's get our toppings in there, huh? So let's peel back this sticker cover. I love this cover. It's, it's very authentic. We'll peel that back. Pop our shrimp in there. Mmm, delicious. Some beef, right on. Get your protein. Some egg yolk. Hope you like green onions. <laughs> there you go, look at that. Alrighty, it also comes with this little sticker tab uh, that you can use to keep that lid down while the heat permeates inside. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Liam and this is my hobby kitchen uh, and today we're going to be making an instant noodle bowl and instant noodles I know what you're thinking they don't have to be synonymous with with sadness and desperation and anime conventions uh, instant noodles can actually also be a lot of fun uh, when I was performing regularly for for a long time uh, I'd come home super late and at this point I was living with my grandmother and she would be up in the kitchen making food at like 1 30 in the morning and would you know make a little instant noodle bowl together I'm gonna show you how we did that We've got a few ingredients laid out here and they're very simple. We're gonna start with, this is a bit of chicken breast. Uh, we've got our instant noodle bowl right over here. Uh, we've got some garlic, we've got an onion and some mushrooms and some broccoli. And that's just, you know, those are just the veggies that I'm gonna use. You don't have to use those ones. For cooking, we're gonna be using some Yamasa soy sauce, which is my favorite brand. We've got some mirin. This is mirin by Kikaman. You don't have to get it by this brand. It doesn't really matter. Hunteri also makes good mirin. And we've got some sesame oil. This is a great dark sesame oil. I really like this one. First step is to cut up our onion. So you wanna be very careful not to cut yourself because that can happen. So take both ends off our onion and then we're gonna cut it in half. Let's just cut some of this. So this is how I slice onions. Just be careful. You don't slice your finger off like this, and I want to do them lengthwise, so I'm gonna go again around this side. There we go. So we have our mushrooms here, I'm just gonna quarter them, like so, like that. Uh, and these are just gonna go in with the onions at the same time once we start cooking there. And as you can see, up in the, uh, up in the, this corner up here, I've got my blanched broccoli. I've already blanched it. Uh, and blanching, if you don't know, is a term where you just, uh, you take boiling water uh, and you add the vegetables to it for just a little bit and it softens them up, gives them some of their natural color. And then you can pop those into your pan when you're ready to cook. 
So we're gonna start with our burner on high and we're just gonna add a little bit of oil in there. This is just regular cooking oil. Just make sure that your oil is coating at, you know, most of the pan. So we're gonna let that heat up and then I'm gonna add my garlic. So now that things are heating up, we're just gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. And when I say a little bit, I actually mean, you know, a fair amount because garlic is amazing. And now that the garlic's heating up, we're going to add the veggies to it. So this is just the onions and the mushroom. So we've got our veggies in there now. We're gonna cover this up and we're gonna let these cook for a little bit. So I've cut up my chicken here. We're just gonna put this over here on this plate. Whenever you're sliding stuff off your cutting, uh, cutting board, just make sure to use the reverse side of your knife or a bench knife if you have one so you don't damage the blade. So now that our veggies are browning a bit, we're gonna be adding a little bit of mirin to the pan. And mirin is a basically a cooking seasoning. Uh, it's, got, it's a little bit sweet uh, and it works really well with soy sauce. We're also gonna be adding our meat and a little bit of sesame oil. Just a touch. My favorite soy sauce. And we're gonna put some pepper in there, some black pepper. And let this cook a little more. Now, um, oh, that smells amazing. I am starving. <laughs> I shouldn't have waited so long to do this. Last thing we're gonna do is chuck our broccoli in there. You can use any kind of instant noodle soup base you like. I, this is just the one that I got from Nissan. Look at this cute little boy here. Look how happy he looks to eat his noodles. That's me really doesn't look that different from the cup noodles kit. There we go, things are still cooking, that's great. We're just gonna get our soup ready and pour this stuff in there. So now we're just gonna cover that up and wait a little bit. All right, so I'm pretty hungry, I'm ready to eat, so let's just uh, take a look at what the soup's doing. Look at that, great, great instant soup. <laughs> Alrighty, we've got our tiny spoon, we've got our chopsticks. We're just gonna empty what we cooked right into here. So there goes the chicken, the veggies. And there you are, Bon Ape Tit. This is gonna be delicious, I cannot wait. You know, one thing I should have done was maybe made a soy sauce egg or something and put it on top of there. But uh, this is pretty much how you make the perfect cup of instant noodles for those late, late night snacks or uh, when you just don't wanna cook an actual dinner. Uh, but you know what, I'm tired of talking and I really wanna start eating, so I'm gonna get right to it. Thanks for joining me, guys. This has been Liam from Liam's Hobby Room and also Liam's Hobby Kitchen. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. There's a place